to brainwash billions of people to consume, drink, and put in their bodies a substance that is destructive to human health. What's cola? Poison water. We know that today. But. Hello guys, welcome back to another productive video with Gracious right here on Zion TV Africa. Yes, it's Euro 2021. The tournament is going on very hard and there have been knockouts and a lot of things. And Cristiano Ronaldo has been in the news last week or last two weeks. <laughs> guys, this is what we call fame and power. Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo practically uh, did a gesture after their match is it with france or i don't know yeah i can't tell a gesture and it cost coca-cola four billion dollars four billion dollars it actually reduced the market value of coca-cola from uh five fifty six point uh one zero billion dollars on the stock market to fifty five point twenty two a billion dollars on the stock market just a guest chat watch this video <laughs> Guys, that is the end of the video. Just that gesture. Just that gesture. About five seconds. Five seconds. It's not even up to 10 minutes or whatever. Five seconds. It cost Coca-Cola $4 billion. Guess what? I was wondering why Ronaldo did that. He's an athlete. And I know he have an idea of the contents in Coca-Cola. And the side effects of Coca-Cola on the body. And being an athlete, he will avoid it totally. We have literally been brainwashed when we were kids. The Coca-Cola is whatever, Fanta is, and we love drinking it. Yeah, we love drinking it because of the pleasure it gives us. <laughs> the next video you will watch will baffle you. Because Coca-Cola have been selling us crap and killing us slowly. It's actually a poison in a can. Ronaldo really exposed that. Watch this next video and we'll get back right into the conversation. Let's watch the video. <laughs> I've always wondered, is one of America's most beloved companies based on a blatant lie? Coca-Cola is a company that basically exists to take high fructose corn syrup and market it as happiness in a red can. to brainwash billions of people to consume, drink, and put in their bodies a substance that is destructive to human health. What's cola? Poison water. We know that today. But there's something that makes me slightly uncomfortable. See, I'm a big Warren Buffett fan. I love Warren Buffett. He's such a nice guy. But I've often wondered, why is it that such a nice man like Warren Buffett invests so much money in Coca-Cola? We own 400 million shares of Coca-Cola stock, as you know. We've never sold a share, and I wouldn't think of selling a share. I like this one. <laughs> I decided to sit down with Mary Buffett, Warren Buffett's former daughter-in-law, who wrote over 10 books on Buffett's style of investing, including Buffettology, to see what Mary Buffett thinks about this apparent dichotomy. Such a nice man investing in such a bad idea. How can we even talk about investing in Coca-Cola when the basic premise of this company is making the human race sicker. There will be a certain number of people who will continue to drink Coca-Cola over the years. Younger people probably won't. Over the years, the younger people that we're talking about 
will most likely change their brand to adapt to healthier mm -hmm. things. There will always be some people drinking Coca-Cola. Um, but for instance, I used to own uh, Philip Morris. Right. I used to own tobacco stocks. And I got to a point where it was just socially irresponsible for me, even though I made a great deal of profit. Right. I, I had to make the decision to, to sell the tobacco stocks. So times are going to change. Times are changing. I believe cola will be viewed the same way we today view tobacco stocks within the next 10 years. Within the next 10 years. I love what Mary just said about dumping tobacco stock. You see, what we often see normal in society today might be seen as abnormal future generations down as we grow in consciousness. In 1999, I attended a student leadership conference. It was sponsored by British American Tobacco. Think about that for a moment. Would you allow your 19 or 20 year old kid to attend a student leadership conference sponsored by British American Tobacco? That student leadership conference I was part of still exists. Today they've learned to no longer take money from British American Tobacco. But guess what? Coca-Cola is one of their biggest sponsors. I bet you they are going to dump Coca-Cola as a sponsor within the next 10 years. As Mary Buffett alluded to, we are awakening. In 10 years, investing in Coca-Cola would be as horrible as investing in big tobacco. Taking sponsorship money from Coca-Cola would be as bad as taking sponsorship money from big tobacco. Human society evolves, and it's evolving away from companies that use mass marketing and fake advertising to brainwash the population to buy craptastic products. Now, Coca-Cola though is ingenious. Check out what it says on their Instagram. Spreading optimism? I don't know about that. Maybe spreading diabetes, maybe spreading obesity, but definitely not spreading optimism. We know today that 95% of the serotonin in our brain, the chemical that creates happiness and good emotions, comes from our gut bacteria. And we know Coca-Cola messes that up. So Coca-Cola is actually worse for your emotional states. The ads may lift you up in 30 seconds, but consuming that, so bad. So you've heard from a Buffett herself. What do you think? Are you going to continue serving Coca-Cola to your children? If you're a CEO, are you gonna keep Coca-Cola vending machines in your office? If you are a university administrator or a high school administrator, are you gonna be serving Coke in the halls of your schools? It's up to you to decide. But if you are, we don't blame you. Coca-Cola has engaged in one of the biggest forms of mass brainwashing known to man. Much the same that Philip Morris engaged in decades ago. But we are gonna wake up. And you can be on the leading edge of humanity's evolution, or you can be backwards. The choice is yours. Share this video if this resonated with you. Feel free to edit this, dub this in your own language, cut it up, put it up on your own YouTube channel. Coca-Cola spends billions brainwashing people. Let's spread some truth. Wow, so practically that's where the video ends and you have seen the truth. You have heard and you have seen for yourself. Coca-Cola contains a type of sugar which is very dangerous to our health. Obesity, heart disease, cancer, and name it. And name it. It speeds up your aging process in a way. It kills you before your time. So guys, Christian Ronaldo has given us the tip. And a lot of you may be doubting whether that's true or not. You can search it up on the internet. Search the content of Coca-Cola. And then search the side effects of those contents and the cons of those contents. Check the pros and the cons, and you see that the cons are more than the, the, the pros. So, guys, thank you so much for staying tuned for this episode. I love you all. This is Zion TV Africa. We do breakdowns like this, moral lesson videos, uh, trendy news videos like this one. Peace, shalom. I love you all, and remember. Stay safe. Bye-bye.